Children are among the most vulnerable in this long, costly war. Amani is 14 years old. We have been suffering from hunger for over a year and a half. All of us are starving, and we have to sell everything we have to get food. I'm longing for caddies. Amani was from Beit Sawa, a town near Damascus, which is now under rebels' control. The girl, along with her parents and four brothers and sisters, has been living in this makeshift settlement since their home was destroyed in the fighting. The 32-year-old mother says she has lost about 40 kilos of weight due to hunger. The situation is really bad. We're almost starving to death, and the cold and sickness are also killing us. Once, my daughter hid a piece of bread under her pillow. She took small bites, fearing that there would be nothing to eat the next day. One day, she tore apart a cartoon book and put the pieces onto a plant, pretending that she was cooking potatoes. She told me she was hungry and wanted to eat them. I just couldn't stop crying at that time. Amani's father used to run a sawmill, employing more than 30 workers. I had thought of leaving our hometown for over a year, but all the roads were closed in the midst of the conflict. There was nothing to eat. We used to go to the forest to collect grass, just to feed the kids. Around 300 families, or about 800 people, are taking shelter in this camp, which used to be a school. One third of them are children. The harsh winter is adding to their difficulties. Many say they would welcome any kind of solution to the war, so they can have enough to eat and go home.